Hello and welcome. In my uh, ongoing efforts to uncover scientific proof that might justify the hysterical fear porn smothering the pandemic COVID-19 criminal fraud, I learned of something called Koshy's postulates, which are four criteria, purpose designed to establish a caus causative relationship between a microbe and a disease. From what I've learned, neither the WHO, the CDC, no virology research facility and no medical authority has completed this pivotal benchmark study to ascertain these essential medical principles prior to sledgehammering the panic button. It goes without saying this 100% prerequisite study should have been immediately determined at the very outset, most especially if any potentially lethal contagion were in evidence, as is so hotly claimed. I can only speculate as to why such a glaring omission, criminal negligence in this instance, should have slipped under the radar of this unprecedented so-called medical emergency. The most obvious conclusion is that the made-up threat was known to be no more serious or consequential than a common cold. Unsurprisingly, the criminally deceptive bottom-feeding scum of mainstream media will studiously avoid investigating <coughs> this vitally important issue. Plus, thus far, no government department, medical agency or political representative will provide meaningful response to my repeat requests for medically verified scientific evidence confirming an authentic COVID-19 threat. Such treasonous intransigence notwithstanding, I'll persist with written requests for this all-important evidence while advising recipients of the forthcoming Nuremberg-style trials for crimes against humanity, which this seditious lockdown of economic terrorism undoubtedly is. We can, we must, and we will win this battle, but not until our overwhelming advantage of numbers actively defend their fundamental freedoms, civil and human rights. I'm often asked by those just waking up to the medical tyranny of what they can do, to which I recommend immediately writing hard copy letters to health authorities and political representatives, issuing a non-negotiable instruction to provide requested information establishing the hysterically touted proof of harm. The significance of issuing a direction to provide information rather than a request is because they work for we the people, so it's our prerogative to direct such action. Whereas requests can be easily declined. Well, they can refuse a direction too, of course, but the hard copy postal record is evidence of failure to respond to a warning of a clear and present danger. It also constitutes duty of declare neglect, gross malfeasance, misconduct of public office, and many more criminal actions besides. I'll provide a link to a template letter in the description box below that you can copy and use by simply inserting your own details and editing whatever additional questions you may want addressed. My unanswered letters of the 24th of May 2020 read pretty much as follows. Dear Minister, or whoever you're writing to, citing the ever-growing international backlash from medical science professionals and qualified healthcare professionals denouncing COVID-19 as a criminal hoax, I direct you to provide incontrovertible evidence establishing pathogenicity and authenticated threat level. You are further directed to provide all criteria used to justify this calamitous lockdown and the anti-human social distancing farce purportedly protecting from something as innocuous as seasonal flu. You are doubtless aware this unprecedented lockdown disaster has cost more lives, inflicted more social upheaval and economic hardship than managing the situation in the superior method of Sweden, Japan, Taiwan and other nation states sensibly avoiding catastrophic lockdown. My deep concern and alarm arises from research exposing that this criminal assault upon civil and human rights is inflicted without evidence to demonstrate a clear and present danger of an authentic pandemic. 
you may or may not be aware of the Koch's postulates set of four criteria designed to establish a causative relationship between a microbe and a disease, which stands as the international benchmark study in these matters. I cannot find evidence of this preconditional study being carried out prior to panic calling an unproven and unsubstantiated global pandemic scare. Accordingly, I require you to urgently provide evidence of this or any similar study was carried out prior to enforcing calamitous lockdown. Please note this matter is under forensic investigation by the International Tribunal into Natural Justice that upon conclusion will pursue Nuremberg-style trials for crimes against humanity. In addition, Weaponized media is indulging an unforgivable disinformation assault upon the community, promulgating fear-mongering, propaganda and offensive disinformation. This is unacceptable. So too is the Stasi style of snooping mass surveillance of contact tracing, masquerading under the fiction of public health safety, which is nothing short of government-sponsored health terrorism. Pursuant to my acknowledged but regrettably unanswered communication of 24th May 2020, please note this follow-up is respectfully submitted as a non-negotiable direction to provide a meaningful response. It is not a request, but rather a lawful instruction issued to you as a public servant from we the people in the capacity of the constitutional foundation of government and law. The attachment document features independent research exposing this hoax and I invite you to challenge or refute its extensive evidence while providing detailed explanation with medical evidence supporting your reasons for rebuttal. I respectfully request your early cooperation in this pressing matter and then you sign it with your own details. I'll paraphrase this to some extent but the text posted on the Secret Harbour Sessions website blog page will be more concise, along with the supporting material with links. As previously stated, I have no confidence in our incurably corrupt political system, but writing hard copy letters of this nature is moreover for preparing evidence for upcoming criminal prosecutions. Inundating them with truthful information and urgent demands for remedial action also lets them know they're not getting away with this malicious crime spree without being noticed. Better yet is putting them on notice of criminal proceedings around the corner. Thank you for watching.